Hello friends, welcome to lmsdaily.com. In today's episode, I will be showing you about the Checklist Moodle plugin. The Checklist Moodle plugin is very popular plugin in the Moodle plugins directory and it has been downloaded more than 1000 times as you can see on the screen. The plugin allows a teacher to create a checklist which the students needs to tick off as they go through the course activities and resources in order to mark their own progress. This can be very helpful for the students to track their own progress. For the teachers, they can also monitor the progress of all the students as they go through the checklist. In the checklist, you can make the op uh, items as intended as well as optional items which the students might need to complete or they can leave it as it is. The students will also see a progress bar shown on the top of the checklist to display their own progress. So let me show you how you can add a checklist activity in Moodle and how you can use it. So first we need to install this checklist plugin on our Moodle site and I will be showing this demo on a local host exam Moodle environment. So I will be just downloading this plugin and showing you how you can install it. So I have downloaded a compatible version with Moodle 4.1 as I am running a version Moodle 4.1 on my local host. And now I will show you how you can install it. So I will be just going to the directory where I have downloaded and now I will be just extracting it to the mod directory in the Moodle here. And now I will be going to the Moodle and here you can see that I am logged in as the admin. So I will be just going to the site administration tab to complete the installation process. So I will do it just clicking on continue. And as you can see that I am installing the mod checklist. So I will be clicking on this upgrade Moodle database now. And click continue. Here you can see some uh, configuration settings for the new module checklist and uh, I will just leave them as default and I will not change them anything. And click on save changes at the bottom. So now we have the module installed and now I will be showing you how you can use it in any of your Moodle course. So for that thing I will be going to a course. Let me go to this course and I will be adding a checklist activity here. So I will click on add an activity or resource. Make sure that you have this uh, editing mode turned on before you can see this add an activity or resource button here. On this activity chooser you have to choose this checklist. And now we are at a new checklist page where we are adding a new checklist to our Moodle course. Here in the first general section you will have to name the checklist. So let me mark it as list of plants as the checklist name. You can um, give an introduction to your own checklist here in this field and if you want to display it on the course homepage then you need to check this box. I will leave it as blank for now. In the settings section you will see different settings here and we will be discussing them one by one right now. The first option is user can add their own items. This can be helpful if you want to allow your students to add their own intermediate milestones between the checklist items you have created. This can be very helpful if you want them to manage their own tasks on their own. So for the time being I will keep it as no. The second option is user can add their own comments to checklist items. If they have something 
to discuss with you during the checklist activity progress they can mark their own feedback in the comments and that can be allowed if you choose yes here the next option is the updates by here you have the option to choose either student only teacher only or student and teacher so if you want them to update this checklist on their own you have to choose this student only for the teacher only the students will progress through the checklist items but the teacher can only mark them where they progress for the student and teacher they can have mixed feedback from both the next item is add due dates to the calendar this can be very helpful if you want the checklist items to be shown in the moodle calendar so i can choose yes here the next step option is teacher can add comments so here the teacher can choose to add comments to the activities uh, to the progress marked in the checklist by the students i will leave it as default to yes the maximum grade of this checklist item let me keep it as 100 only and the next option is email when checklist is complete so here you can choose whom to send the email in case the checklist is marked as complete you can choose either student only or teacher only and the last option is student and teacher both i will keep it as no the next option is show course module in the checklist here this can be very helpful if you want to show all the course items within the checklist along with some other items you can choose either the current course section or the whole course activities in to be included in the checklist so i will keep it as of now no and i will show you a completely blank checklist and how you can add items in that one check off when the modules complete so if you choose here as current section then you can get this option enable and we can either keep it as yes cannot override or choose yes can override so i will keep it as no the last option is lock teacher marks this is very careful you need to choose here because if you choose yes here and you keep your feedback in the checklist then you will not be able to change your feedback once it is logged in moodle so i will keep it as no for the time being so we are done with the basic settings of the checklist plugin and now i will just click on save and display so as you can see that we have this activity coming from our course section which we have chosen in the same section where this activity is added now i will just go to this edit checklist page and add few more items in the checklist now as you can see that here we will see a list of all the checklist items you have on the checklist you can add new checklist item by clicking this field and mentioning a name let me say as first point so and you can see there is a checkbox right next to the left of the text field so here it shows that it is a checklist item i will show you how you can change it as a optional item as well as a heading item and you can simply click on add button to add a text checklist point so as you can see we have this first point as the checklist item now i will show you another way uh, to refer this checklist point to any activity in moodle i will add it as the second activity and here you can put a link to any other course activity so let me add this one here so the student has to click or view this activity for this checklist now i will click on add and as you can see that it will show a icon next to the checklist item which indicates that it is a link associated with this item 
there is another option to add uh, activity with a due date so now let me show you the option to add with a due date so i will click on third option maybe the name and click on this edit dates now i will enter the name again because this will clear whatever is entered in the field so i will click on this name of this checklist item and i will uncheck this disable button to enable the dates and i will let me see give it a due date to 23rd of january and click on add button so now as you can see that this third activity comes along with a due date on the right side so now i am finished with the uh, checklist items and i will show you how you can add more items under any of the points so you can click on this green plus icon to insert a new item after this item you can click on this color button color box to change it to the next color there are a few colors already defined in this plugin so you can just click on this to move to the next color like it is red now and if i click on it again it will turn to orange and now it will turn to green so like this you can change the color of the checklist items now i will just click on this check mark on the left of the item and as you can see that as of now this item is a required and it must be completed by the student i will just click on it once and as you can see now this item is an optional item i will leave it as it is but i will show you how to make any activity as the heading by clicking on this icon two times so one time it will make it as optional the second time it will make it as a heading and it will not have a checkbox besides it so now i am done with my checklist i will go to the checklist page again and as you can see that the first one is the heading the second one is coming from the course section then we have another heading and then we have a activity which is linked to the this activity and then we have a final item with a due date so this is how the student will see this checklist activity and when they will put a check to any of the activity they can see that their own progress so out of the required activities they have completed 50% and if they click on this one also so it is marked as 100% and if they complete on the optional item so it will mark as 100% of all the items so this way you can add a checklist to your course and uh, in, in addition it will also give a grade to the course grade book so as a teacher you can go to the view progress page and here you will see the list of all the students enrolled in your course along with their own progress in different checklist items so this is how you can use this checklist plugin in your moodle course this comes along with another companying uh, plugin which is named as the checklist blog as well as the checklist grade export so please explore these two plugins also and if you have any queries regarding the usage of this checklist plugin please feel free to drop me a comment in the comments section below thank you very much for watching this video if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon to get all the latest videos instantaneously on your youtube app thank you very much for watching